Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video it's all going to be about pancakes. Now who doesn't love pancakes? I know in my house we all love pancakes and so today's video I'm going to be showing you some um, tricks and hacks um, for different types of pancakes and kind of different ways and toppings and different things that you can do with them just to make it a little bit more fun for you and your kids. So let's get straight into it. So first off, I'm going to be showing you the recipe for American pancakes. So these are the thicker pancakes um, and normally you have them sort of like stacked. Um, so what you'll need for this is self-rising flour, baking powder, milk and caster sugar. Um, so let's get into making these ones. Okay, so you're going to need 200 grams of self-rising flour and put that into a bowl. Then you're going to need um, a tea and a half spoon of uh, baking powder and then you're going to need one tablespoon of caster sugar I'm going to just give that a little mix in and then what you're going to need to do is create a well in the middle sort of like that um, and then next you're going to need three large eggs and you're going to break them and place them into the well So next we need to add in the milk, which is 200 millilitres of milk, which I've just measured into this jug. I'm just going to pour that in as well. And then we just need to whisk all of that to get that. And then once that is all mixed together, if you've got time, it's best to leave it and cover it for 10 minutes um, and then come back to cook them. Okay, so now guys, I'm going to be showing you the more traditional um, English style, which is the really th uh, flat pancake um, and how we do those ones. So let's get into the recipe. Um, so for this recipe, we're going to need, um, this one is plain flour. Uh, we're going to need milk and two eggs and some vegetable oil. So into the bowl, I'm going to be putting 100 grams of plain flour, 300 millilitres of milk, two eggs, and lastly a tablespoon of oil. Okay, and now you're just going to want to whisk all of that together. And again, just like the American style pancakes, if you can leave this to the side um, for five minutes just to help that set and then um, cook after that. Um, so I'm gonna start by putting a knob of butter in the pan and letting that melt. And then just pour a little bit of the melted butter into the, the pancake mixture. pan is very very hot and then you'll be able to do um, in my pan for instance this size one I'm going to do three small pancakes so how you know they are ready is they'll start to bubble on top and that's when you'll need to flip them going to want to stack these up and then pop on some of your favourite toppings. And 
you're just gonna to wanna to add some vegetable oil into the pan. And once that's nice and hot, you can add in your pancake mixture. Just make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom so you can just shuffle it off like this. absolute favourite topping for these traditional pancakes is lemon and sugar. So a hack to actually roll up your pancake is to get a fork and place it in one end and roll. So did you know that you can actually add food colouring to your pancakes to make them really, really fun colours and colourful for the kids? So here I've got blue and yellow and we're gonna try it out. So you're just gonna wanna add some mixture into two separate bowls. and then add in a couple of drops of food colouring. And then just give that a mix. do is pour a larger one in the middle and then one in there and another ear there. There you have it, Mickey Mouse. And if you wanted to make it a mini mouse, all you've got to do is add two strawberries to the top. Just like so, and now you've got mini mouse. So here I'm trying to create a little fun character um, using berries and I've done a head with ears, um, a face and a body. As well you can actually use cookie cutters to create shapes for your pancakes so I'm going to show you two ways how you can do this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cook up your pancake and then get your cookie cutters and just cut and press them down um, to get that star shape.
and it's not so waste, the adults can always eat the leftovers. So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to put your cookie cutter um, in the pan and then pour in the mixture into the cookie cutter. how I like to do a savoury pancake and this one is going to be using bacon. Okay. So you're just going to want to cook up your bacon how you normally like it. So once it's cooked to your liking, you're going to want to drizzle the pancake mixture all around it and then a little bit over the top. And dress it with what you like. I'm going with some golden syrup. This is a great one for kids. If your kids like banana, which I know mine um, does, um, then they're going to absolutely love this one. So what you're going to want to do is cut up your banana into pieces and pop them into the pan. And then get your pancake mixture and put a little, a little blob of pancake mixture onto each one. So there you have it, little pancake mini banana bites that your kids are going to absolutely love. So now I'm going to tell you how you can create a sort of chocolate centred like a sandwich pancake and here's how we do it. So what you're going to want to do is get some of your chocolate spread um, and then just place it onto the foil um, and then try to make a sort of smaller circle type kind of pancake shape and I'm going to do two of those. in the freezer to set. Once your chocolate is set, you're just gonna wanna need to peel it off. in your first pancake into the pan as normal add in your chocolate center and then add a second pancake over the top making sure to cover all the chocolate. It's not the traditional round shape, but it is just the taste that matters. 
So let's see what, how it turned out in the middle. And don't forget, if you've got any leftovers, you can actually just pop that in the fridge and use it the next day. And if you've got leftovers, don't forget that you can freeze them and then use them for another day. And all you have to do is get them out of the freezer and pop them in the toaster. So that is all my tips and hacks for you for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Please do leave a comment below um, if you've actually used one of these hacks before or are going to try one. Let me know how it gets on for you. Um, and so if you like this sort of video, please do um, consider subscribing to my channel. I'd absolutely love to have you. And also give my video a nice like. I would really, really appreciate it and absolutely love to have you. Um, so yeah, I really, really hope that you had a flipping good pancake day. Um, and yeah, yeah, hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks guys.